How's it going, lads and ladies? It is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and I am here today to talk about the PSVR2 PC adapter. We have got some previews going live from people lucky enough. Also, I've got this uh, NVIDIA broadcast thing going on right now where I turned on the eye contact, so probably shouldn't use it for the video like this. If I'm making weird eye contact with the camera, that's not really me. You know, I'm actually watching the video. Let's start with this one uh, from Voodoo DE which is uh, DE's Deutsch, Deutschland, German. He's a German YouTuber, but he does it in English. There's also a French one going around as well, but that's not in English. So let's watch this one. Look at this collection he has. Straight away, I'm just drawn to all these headsets. I don't know half of them. I think these crazy looking ones are Pimaxes, but look at these, got like four or five of them. I expect you to die briefcase. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Convenient. Is it convenient connectivity? Connecting to the PS5 is convenient, it's just one wire into the front. But as you're about to see, we're talking about like four different wires. And a dongle, if you're if you're like me and you have a PC without a Bluetooth, like built-in Bluetooth adapter. But luckily I got one, because I knew I was gonna need Bluetooth for the controllers. But apparently you gotta get a very specific one, we'll get into that as well. So it's coming with the brick. PS5, the PS5 itself doesn't have a brick. This thing does. Two wires, three wires, four wires. It's literally the breakout box. Actually, the breakout box might have had less wires. I can't remember. It's either the same or less. Sorry, it's either the same or more as the breakout box. It's just crazy. Look at all these wires. It's already turned into a little spider. You know, it's a little daddy long legs. Now he's talking about going into pairing mode with your sense controllers. Now, well, the question I had as soon as I saw this was, if I want to go back to the PS5 and play with the PSVR 2, does that mean I have to repair it to the PS5 again? Because it sounds like any time you go from one platform to the other, it's going to pair with that one. And you'll have to keep doing it. I guess at least on PS5 you might have to keep doing it because if you press the power button, what's it going to turn on? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it, it's uh, something that can be remembered on both devices. But if you're like me, you got both devices in the same room. You obviously, you can't interact with both of them at the same time, or else that's going to be you know a headache. So you'd imagine it has to be one at a time, and you'd have to unpair it for each one. You'll be able to download that on the sixth. So even if you get the adapter early somehow, some countries seem to be getting them a bit sooner. Like people are either, I don't know if the retailers are breaking embargoes or street dates or whatever, but you still need this app. So I think it's pretty much useless unless you have this app and you cannot have this app until the sixth. So very similar. Oh, that's actually interesting. So it doesn't automatically scan. That's not the same. On PSVR 2, you can like look around and it'll paint for you and then it'll kind of determine the area and then you adjust it afterwards with the paint thing. But it looks like here you paint everything yourself, which is not a big deal. Just an interesting thing to note. Now, by the way, this <laughs> is going to sound ridiculous. But this menu, the Steam VR menu, where it's like a big curved screen, when you turn it on, you play the Steam app on the PS4 2 for the first time. Like we had nothing, we've had nothing like this kind of a UI. Yeah, and it's still a flat screen, but it's still, it's in a 3D space. They got a curve effect going on. It's more than Sony ever did for the uh, the UI on the native PS4 2 to PS5. Just a small little thing that I thought was kind of funny. So the one I have is a TP-Link USB 500 or 5.0 or whatever it was. Apparently PlayStation uses 5.1 Bluetooth, so if you have the TP link, like Sony themselves recommend us, I think he puts it in the comments here. So according to feedback from Sony, the following Bluetooth adapters are recommended. So there's TP link UB500, which is the one I have already, luckily. So hopefully it works. This is the Asus USB BT500, Buffalo, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, some other links for different stuff as well. But I'm hoping that that's like uh, not gonna be an issue with a lot of people not being aware of this, assuming that their Bluetooth will do the job, and then finding out in the day that they don't have the right hardware, and then frustrations ensue as they gotta order, even though they're cheap. I think they're cheap. How much is this to buy? 12, like $13 or whatever, so, you know, not a, not that big of a deal, but still, isn't that fascinating? 
he's telling us because he's got a like an area in his room i guess like a green screen area that he's in so that he can you know chroma key himself out and put himself in the corner of videos the psvr2 would have trouble tracking that when it's connected to the ps5 but when it's connected to pc it doesn't have that trouble so it seems to be performing better on pc in terms of headset tracking which is very interesting that'll be interesting i've seen someone commenting on reddit that like bluetooth that's built in can be like notoriously trash and that you should guess i don't know what he said like an extension thing or something so you can, like you can like um run the antenna the bluetooth receiver or antenna or whatever like keep it away from the pc because the pc itself the case the tower can interfere with the signal i've also had people telling me in the discord that i should put my bluetooth adapter which is currently in the back of my pc i should put it to the front so that it's got less blockages in the way so i'm a little little bit concerned on how like you know stable that bluetooth connection is going to be i hope because i've got the one listed i'm not going to have any of these issues like he's encountered but as important said in the discord we need more guinea pigs okay well he deserves a subscribe for that and a like okay so we're not done yet well first of all you should check out this guy's channel especially if you want to get the correct uh, bluetooth adapter he's got the three listed officially from sony or maybe four there i don't know uh the sony themselves recommend these ones to work so you'd imagine they're fairly safe bets uh, but that's Voodoo, D-E, the or English version. Uh, okay, so I was on Reddit as well, looking at other people's impressions. Here's another uh, reviewer's take. Let me go back. They cut screenshots because he says it in a different language. He didn't notice any mirror at all. Was Isn't that strange? Isn't that like down to the display? Like, is that something that you can avoid by being on PC? I thought that was like part of the hardware. That was like a hardware fault or trade-off no problems with head tracking no problems with the hands impressions here is fantastic by the way i expected yes the picture is good so you see you're in like a 3d environment straight away you got like i didn't notice that in the first video but he's like he got like a mountain range in the background and he apparently judges headsets and this like straight away the graphics and how they're gonna look in this little area everything's super cracking sharp but it gets interesting towards the back. The screws come closer together. Clean image. Ah, so Mori effect. Is that Mora effect? Okay. His controller tracking is smooth. He says the colors are very crisp. Okay, he said everything looks fantas fantastic, I think. Okay, it's hard to go by this because different people have different graphic cards. They can bump it up. Other people have to bump it down a little bit, so... It's difficult for me to judge how it's going to be like for me based on this, but whatever. Brightness. Vibration intensity. First impression of the image is, as I said, with exactly the same resolution in exactly the same game. Sitting on the quest for half a year, three around, I definitely have to admit that the general image impression of the quest is sharper for me at this moment. But that's also because the quest software artificially sharpens the image which is crunched and sent over. So the image is sharper on the quest, but there's some kind of, it goes through some kind of pipeline where it sharpens the image in the background, I guess, for all games maybe on the quest three is what he's saying, that the PS4 2 doesn't have. I think he's happy with this if the translation I'm reading is correct, but the translation on YouTube is like not great. Okay, so you gotta be careful with the settings with Steam VR. it also massively might set them too high. I think that's what he said. Everything feels good, nothing feels strange here. Tracking felt extremely direct, which I assume means like one-to-one. -one. It notices any mirror at all, but I usually don't see that on the PlayStation either. Okay, very good. So this is from Mofun Vior, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning. I guess if you speak German and you want to check this guy out, I'll put his link in the description to this video that you're watching as well. So we'll go back on that. We check this out, this YouTuber says usb to dp works i think there was a correction he just commented this which sounds unfortunate uh i have new and confusing findings while my first test with the pc adapter and a display port adapter connected to the thunderbolt 4 port worked fine now i can't get it to work part two i don't know what that means 
for you. The software briefly sends an error message that the display port cable is not connected, but it immediately takes it back again. Nevertheless, I can't see any picture on the PS4 2, so attention, Safeway is then actually only the nasal display port in the PC. So there you go. If you've got a Thunderbolt 4 port, it sounds like you're out of luck. Poland. Okay, so this gentleman in Poland already has it, so if you're in Poland watching this, maybe Polish Paul has already got his as well, even though he's living in the UK, I think, but still, he might have some connections. And then I also clicked on this as well, because it was interesting, the UK, Amazon has a listing for the PS4 2 adapter, but if you go into it, it's currently unavailable. It's getting to the point now, we're getting close to the actual launch of it, and people like me, I'm in Ireland, for example, I have no idea where to get this. Do I have to wait for it to go on Amazon UK and then I get it from there? My local retailers, because we don't even have GameStop here anymore, they shut down a couple of years ago, they closed all across Ireland. So we have Smiths, but they're not listing it online either yet. It might just pop up on the day itself, I don't know. And we don't even have Sony Direct either, or PlayStation Direct, I should say, so I can't do anything with that. But even if you do have PlayStation Direct in your country, you can't like look it up, there's no page for us. It's as if it doesn't exist. Also, I just find it very, well, like everything with Sony, this is all bizarre. That the uh, German YouTuber and a French YouTuber both got access to this. Like, why is there no American or British or Asian? Why was it just those couple of countries? Like, it's all, it's like Sony is broken up into all these different regions or, you know, different departments and nobody's really got a cohesive plan together there. There's also actually, I meant to look it up and play it, a new advertisement for this by Sony, but it's actually on their YouTube channel. Uh, one day, oh my God, they don't even have it on their fucking YouTube channel. It's on their blog, maybe? I'm trying to look for anything that says PSVR2. I swear I've seen that, it's, it's definitely on the, uh, somebody posted it here on the Reddit. Here it is, courtesy of Nathy on Twitter. So <laughs> where did Nathy get this from? Okay, we got an these here. Where did he get this? So expand your library. HDR headset feedback, eye tracking, adaptive triggers, and haptic feedback. Other than basic rumble, features are not available when playing on PC. Connect your PS Viewer 2 to your PC with the adapter. Internet connection required for Steam and apps. Convenient connectivity, I don't know. Is this convenient? First of all, one of these wires isn't included. The DisplayPort 1.4 cable you need. Minimum 1.4, I think you can go over that and it'll work backwards. Uh, and then you got your USB-A and a power, this is probably USB, and then your power. And then your USB-C gun in the front. Use of this product requires a commercially available DisplayPort cable sold separately that is compatible with DisplayPort 1.4. Actually, do they mention Bluetooth, I wonder? So they got Half-Life Alex playing in the background. High fidelity visual experience. 4K resolution and OLED display consisting of two 2000 by 2000 OLED panels, or displays, sorry. 110 degree field of view. Designed for comfort. What I found, like, I kept laughing. I'll, I'll point it out when we get there. Adjustable lens separation, which is nice, of course. 3D audio. This is where it starts getting funny. The stuff where, like, they had similar ads to this for PSVR 2 itself on PS5. And they'd list HDR and the 110 degree field of vision, but then they'd have adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, they'd talk about eye track and all the cool shit, and then you'll notice here that they don't have all these things, so they replace it with like, the controllers are smartly designed and they feel good. Intuitive. Smart design. Precision control. This feature at least stays, that's nice, we get to keep this. Hopefully a few games use it. Analog sticks and action buttons. Is this really a selling point? I don't think they sold this as a selling point the first time around. I could be wrong. Even though it was a big deal to have the stick because we were using the move controllers for so long with no stick. I don't think it said an wait, maybe it must have. It must have said something about Bluetooth. No text on the bottom to let us know that you need a certain type of Bluetooth 
minimum 5.0 I think to get these to run correctly which is strange yeah and that's it so that's where we are right now with the PC adapter for the PSVR 2 like I wasn't expecting Sony to actually give it to people in advance so that they could try it out and show it off and kind of promote it although it's weird that they have just picked like a few people in like Germany and where the fuck was the other country again? Germany and what? Not the Americans, not the Europeans, not anyone English speaking. So maybe on Monday then we might see a push from the English speaking side. I don't know. If it was me running the show at Sony, I'd make sure these were all lined up together. There'd be an embargo and it would all lift at the same time for globally, you know? That's how they've done us with like stuff they care about. It's just weird what they're doing here. And of course, like I said, we're less than a week away and I don't know how to buy this. I do not know how to buy this. I don't know if I'll be able to go into a specific retailer and pick it up or if I have to orders online only and then wait another few days for it to arrive. I don't know. But if we have positives to take away, it's that it seems to work. You know, Bluetooth issues aside, which I'm hoping I won't have, the actual games themselves seems simple enough to get them up and running and I should be playing Phasmophobia in no time. I'm hoping that there's no, you know, hidden issues to worry about like you know the microphone not being supported for whatever reason it should work but uh you know how it is with sony anyway i think the main takeaways are it looks good no noticeable increase to mirror or whatever bizarrely it seems to track better the headset itself at least tracks better than it does on ps5 does that mean pc is the best place to play ps4 2 i don't know sounds that way anyway negatives aside I think the positives are kind of what we expected. Obviously, dynamic fovea's rendering wasn't going to be working, so it's not going to be like super sharp or whatever, like you might expect natively on PS5. And it sounds like these guys who have got early access to the adapters are going to be further like testing out the product. So in the next day or two, we're probably going to hear more impressions, more detailed ones after they got more time with us. So we'll, I'm sure over the next few days, we're going to hear more and more interesting, juicy details. But yeah, this video has certainly gone on. Uh, much longer than I expected, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you very much for watching. But before I end the video, let me thank my channel members. I was going to say sponsors, but I guess they are. They are the following. Muzz, Dead Eye Dan, No One Knows, Plank71, Esports Commentator for Hire, Deej the Pumpkin Patch Kid, Pete Hawkins, The Governor of Yore, Crumb, Superfly AF, Edify Till I Die, Lone Wolf Vior, Aced, Mr777, and Geza. Thank you very much for that support. It is greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next one. Please stay nice and moist if you can.